This is the answer key for the written part of today's practice test. If you guys wanted to look back over it or ask questions, you can. Um, first off, when you have a proof like this where you have to fill in everything by yourself, step one should be find the given information. Here it says segment FB is congruent to segment KP. And you want to mark that in your picture as this top segment is congruent to this bottom segment. And then once you've marked it in your picture, that becomes the line in your proof. FB, and forgive me for slow writing here, FB is congruent to KP. Don't forget that you want to include the uh, correct symbols for everything. So segment FB is congruent to segment KP. And the reason for that is given. Maybe it would be better if I just type that. That is given. We put that mark in the picture because we were told that's, the tr that's true at the beginning of the problem. Then you go to the second piece of given information. Angles 2 and 5 are congruent to each other. So you want to mark that in the picture. Angle 2 is congruent to angle 5. And that becomes our next line in the proof. We want to say angle 2 is congruent to angle 5. Ooh, that's slow. And the reason for that, once again, is given. All right, next. All right, we're out of given bits of information. We want to take a look at our picture and see what we can add. What do we know that we can add to this picture? And what we know is we see angles three and four in the middle are congruent. These two angles here in the middle are vertical angles. So we want to include that marking here that says those two are vertical angles. So we can add angle three is congruent to angle four. And the reason for that is vertical angles. And you can abbreviate that just vert. I'm going to write out vertical angles, but vert would be just fine. Now, if you look at the picture, we can see that we have enough information to tell the triangles are congruent to each other. Uh, what we have is this side, this angle, and this angle are congruent to each other in the two different triangles. This is an example of angle, angle, side. So we can take what we're supposed to prove, that the two triangles are congruent, and we can say that that's true, and our reason will be angle, angle, side. So down here you can say triangle BFQ is congruent to triangle PKQ. And here I'm doing it, I'm typing it, but then going back and writing the symbols. Uh, that should be congruent. Yep, I made it a plus. And I need the triangle symbols for each of these. And our reason for that is angle, angle, side. 